Hello, beautiful souls. How are you doing? I hope all is well with you. Chosen ones, they don't like that your boundaries are set in stone at this point. You really don't have time to do back and forth with people who have shown you over and over again who they really are. Okay? It, the saying says, when they show you who they are the first time, believe them. Believe them. Like, I'm not going to do the back and forth with you and say, oh, sorry this time, sorry that time. You know what you did the first time, and I forgave you. You know what you did the second time, and I forgave you. And now you think it's going to be like a merry-go-round. That's what they think is going to go on, chosen ones, that you're going to just go on this merry-go-round, go over and over and over and over while they disrespect your life, disrespect you, your beautiful light, your gifts, everything. That's not happening. Time is up. We're not playing the games that they want us to play with them. And that's the thing. They're so used to people falling for their lies and their manipulation and their schemes. And so when they meet you and you put a stop to it, they don't know how to act. Because nobody else around them knows how to put their foot down. They let these people treat them, talk to them, act with them any type of way. But baby, we're, we're different. You're no longer going to just go for slaps in the face. And then, okay, I'm sorry, and act like, you know, no. It doesn't work that way. So, chosen ones, let them be upset. Let them talk the crap they're going to talk. Let them go gossip and try to triangulate you and try to get other people involved that's not, that wasn't there. You know, it's so crazy how they will definitely try to go and find people, tell people, make it out to seem like you're the bad guy. When they know they're the villain the whole time. They know the stuff that they said and did to you. They know somebody did that to them. They would hate it. But that's why they do it to you. Because they're hoping that you're going to have a soft spot. They're hoping that you're not going to stand up for yourself. And they're hoping you're not going to love yourself. But chosen ones, they got another thing coming. Because we don't operate like that. That was back in the back old days when we didn't know who we were. We're in 2024 now. We're very aware of who we are. And those that are still waking up, we're waking them up too. So let them be mad. But baby, we standing on what? Big business. All right? That's the big thing going around. But we've been doing it. And we're going to stay doing it and stay making them mad and pissed off. And oh, well. It's not my problem. Chosen ones, understand when people are upset with you for setting boundaries, it is not your problem. It is not your concern. At all. Because guess what? If you don't set boundaries and love yourself, who will? The next time somebody gets upset with you for setting a boundary because they want to cross it, ask them how they would like it if you did it to them. Okay? Ask them. Why should going to give you some crap about, oh, well, you know. And, and you know, <laughs> they love to try to abuse the Bible. They love to try to abuse God for their own disgusting gain. So they'll tell you things like, oh, well, God tells you got to forgive all these times. You're right. God does. But he doesn't say I have to continue to deal with a person that I know is a snake. To deal with people that I know have it out for my bad. That you mean me harm. Why would God want you to be around people that want to harm you? That want to destroy you. That want to take you down and take you out. Why would God tell you to just go ahead and keep dealing with that? Does that make any sense? Don't let anybody out here try to manipulate you with the Bible. Don't let anybody out here try to manipulate you by saying, well, God will want you to do this. Well, Jesus said to do that. They love to do it all day long. They will literally try to come after you and destroy you with everything they got. And then when they realize they can't take you down, when they realize that they're not stopping nothing, now it's called the manipulation. Okay? The gossip didn't work. The slander didn't work. The smear campaign didn't work. None of it worked. Here comes the, here, here, here comes the, 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 the guilt train. And the, well, well, God wouldn't want you to do that. Well, God tells you to love your enemy. And you're right, baby. And that's why I can pray for you and love you at a distance. Okay, chosen ones? That's what it's called. Loving the, the people that, that's no good for you at a distance. Don't let anybody out here try to scheme or, or plot their way into your life. To stay in your life and try to ruin your mental health. Chosen ones, they want to ruin your mental. 
That's why when they, they know what they're doing is wrong, they know you don't like it, and they do it anyway because they don't care about you. Understand that. Anybody out here that's willing to continuously do something that you said you don't like, to continuously do something that they know when they would not like to be done to them, they are not good for your mental health, and you need to get them far away from you. Don't let people manipulate you. Stand up for yourself. And if they're going to be mad, okay, what you want me to do? You want me to go and get you a box of tissue? You want me to go find me a lookalike? Because <laughs> I, don't, I really don't. Like, I don't want you all showing people sympathy and empathy that is taking your kindness for weakness over and over and over again. Their time is up, okay? In 2024, we're not playing these games. Each year, we're raising the prices, okay? Each year, we're adding more and more taxes. When you know your worth, stand on it and add tax. Because those that are for you, chosen one, they're never going to put themselves in a position to lose you. I've told you all that over and over again. When people put themselves in spots and places to lose you, and they just gamble, they shake the dice and just gamble on the fact that, they love me. They have a beautiful heart. They're, they'll understand. People make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. When they choose to say those things and, and, and stand on those things instead of being an upright individual, that tells you all you need to know. But then also when it comes to these people, what did you do to them, chosen one? Right? Because a lot of times when people are always trying to get over on me or try to tell me give them the benefit of the doubt then i'm like well what have i done to you what bad what intentionally bad have i done to you not things that are outside of my control not things that could be different but literally i did it with ill intent cue the jeopardy music do -de -do 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 -do. Okay, like I'm gonna always say I love that line because baby, you're gonna be waiting for a lifeline because you're never gonna have an answer. They want us to accept their bad behavior. They want us to accept the fact that we would never ever ever treat them how they treat us, and we're just supposed to be okay with them. The days of people trying to make you feel bad. It's over. The only way that they can get they can do that to you is if you allow it. Don't give people that power over you. When God puts something in your head and your heart, you listen to God, baby. You listen to God. And God does not want you to continuously be hurt and taken advantage of. Where does it tell you that in the Bible? Where does it tell you that? Where? Like, tell me anything. Where does God say that it's okay to be abused and to accept abuse and keep dealing with it until the day that you got that, that you gone off this earth? Where? You're never going to find it. Forgiveness is one thing. It's something that I be struggling with a lot of times. I'm like, boy, I don't even want to do this. But I know I have to. We have to, chosen ones. But that don't mean that we're going to be kicking it. That don't mean that we're going to be besties. Why would I do something that simple? Why would I do something that crazy? I can't trust you. Chosen ones, when they show you the signs, take it as a warning. And don't trust people that have no problem doing you all types of dirty and filthy. All types of dirty, filthy, and nasty. Because understand this. Understand this very well. <laughs> if you were to do half of the things... Your face would probably be made it to the news station by now. Everybody in their mommy, their grandmama, auntie, uncles, they would all know. Because chosen ones, they're they waiting for that day. They're waiting for that day that you show up low vibe like them. They're waiting for the day that you show up and show that, oh, they they just like us. They want you to be a, a part of the miserable and loser club. Because they're so used to seeing you winning. They tired of seeing you winning. They tired of seeing you keep progressing. They don't want that for you. They want you down in the dumps like them. That's why you want to fill your life with misery. That's why you want to fill your life with L's. <laughs> and God going to keep disappointing them. 
God's going to keep disappointing them because, baby, with God, you don't lose. See, they're not walking with God. If they was walking with God, they'll be trying to match your frequency. They'll be trying to get on that high vibrational energy. But yet, they want to just keep going down, sink and sand, sink and sand, sink and sand. And then blame you for it. Why you, why, why you don't want me in your life no more? Why you not answering my calls no more? Why you blocking my text messages? Why we can't FaceTime? Why we can't email and Skype or whatever else going on? And it's just like, really? Like, are you really serious right now? You don't care all the hurt and pain you've put me through? And chosen ones, they don't. What they want to do is they want to give you even worse pain. Anybody out here that can try to inflict pain on you purposely, they don't care. They don't care about you. There's no amount of sorries in the world. Because what's your excuse? Why haven't you done those things to them? Because you're built different. You're built with love. You're built with grace. You're built with common sense. You're built with empathy. Our empathy is through the roof. And it's the same thing that has gotten us hurt over and over again. And that's why I'm telling y'all, we're not doing this no more. You save your empathy and your sympathy and your love and your care and your beautiful heart for those people out here that actually deserve it. 